Hey folks, Josh Hatcher with Josh Hatcher Media, and we're talking about something really exciting today. We're talking about free advertising. Now, nothing in life is really free. You do have to work for it, and sometimes you might have some minuscule amounts of things you have to kick in to make it happen, or some manpower hours, or whatever. But for the most part, we're talking about ways to get the word out, to get your message in front of your potential customers for free. And uh, today we're on our third installment of this series, and uh, it's a four-part series, so this is our next to last week. By the way, I'm Josh Hatcher for Hatcher Media, and uh, my website's hatchermedia.net, and you can see a lot of the kind of stuff that I do there. And uh, I've got a lot of experience with this third way of uh, free advertising, and what it is, it's called publicity. Now, a little background on myself. I used to work in journalism. I worked at a, at a local newspaper. Actually, I worked for lots of newspapers as a freelancer. And I worked uh, in local radio as well as, as the news director uh, and uh, even local television. So I, I know what has to happen and how it works when you're looking at the stuff that comes in front of you. And uh, I know what they're looking for when they're determining what's newsworthy. Okay? So... If, let's let's explain what publicity is. What publicity is is it's a way for you to get your message into the media rather than into paid advertising. Now, uh, you've got to be creative for this to work right. You've got to find just the right thing that is newsworthy enough for the news to cover it. Okay. Um, but if you can learn that, and if you can talk with them, and if you can find the right thing. Uh, publicity is a great thing you know um let's say you're hiring a new employee uh or you are uh or an employee gets a promotion or maybe you're giving away or you're doing something in the community you know these are all things that make good publicity so you know maybe you broke a world record you know uh find the niche that you've got that works well with what you do and, and come up with a way to get your message uh and do something newsworthy. And the key to good publicity is the good press release. And I'll be honest with you, I could write an entire book on just writing press releases. And I've written uh, hundreds of press releases, most of which have gotten some pretty good coverage everywhere uh, from local media to even some national media uh, has happened from some of the press releases that I've written, which is, which is kind of an exciting thing to think about. A press release, uh, you know, you're going to want to do the time to take the time to research it. Like I said, I'm working on, actually I'm working on an e-course uh, that would walk people through the process of how to write a press release, how to get co good publicity, but we're just going to kind of briefly touch on it today. So, you know, the, that key there is, is you want to definitely learn the art of the good press release. Uh, and again, do something newsworthy and um, any any changes that you have within your business are good and uh, because they give you that chance. So a lot of what you you might already be doing is newsworthy. If you've got a, a, a fairly public type organization, you know, like I said, a new staff person or, or a, a promotion for one of your staff people or, again, a charitable donation, all these things that you can do um, that help you get noticed. Uh, you sponsor a sports team or, or something like that. Something that will get you noticed and get you media coverage. Um, what you need to do is you need to write your, your press release as though it's an article in the newspaper. Um, I know, and I don't mean to, to downplay uh, the people that I worked with or even myself or the people that I send press releases to, but I know how busy and how lazy we are. <laughs> and, how, you know, like I said, I'm not saying that to, to put them down. They work hard. I don't, lazy isn't really the right word. But I know for a fact that when I'm working the news desk, if somebody sends me an article that's already written, bam, all I have to do is edit it, make sure it looks clean, throw it in the paper. So, you know, don't just send, you know, when you're sending that press release, make sure you're writing it as though all they have to do is take it and put it in the paper. So keep the, that in mind as you're writing it to know what they're going to print and what they're not going to print. And, and as you learn it and as you kind of craft it, you, you'll get the feel for which things that they can cover. Uh, the other thing you want to do is you want to follow up with a thank you when your uh, your publicity person, you know, your person that's at the, um, the newspaper, the radio station, when they run your piece thank them. You know, just give them a phone call. Say, thank you so much for running an article. Send them an email or, or drop by some cookies. I'll tell you what, cookies, homemade cookies will get you anything you want when it comes to uh, newspaper and radio and television coverage. Uh, you know, they they can't, you can't technically bribe them legally but uh, or ethically, but I guarantee you that if you take the time and 
bring them cookies, they'll remember you and they will pay attention to your next press release because you build a good relationship with them. Um, I'll, I'll just say, you know, when it comes to media, you know, don't forget, to, you, you want to build a good contact uh, database of that. So take the time to research, call your newspaper, call your radio station, call your local television stations, call all of them. Uh, I would go, depending on where your client uh, demographic is, which if you've done your target work, you know who you're trying to reach, and uh, find out what that radius is, whether it's 25 miles or 50 miles, and uh, gather all of the contacts for all of the radio and all of the, the media in that area. Don't forget your news blogs. You know, I know where we're at. Uh, we've got a guy that just runs a news blog, and he'll publish anything you send him. You know, get these guys and, and uh, get on a contact list and send out press releases frequently. Find reasons to be newsworthy and send them stuff as frequently as you can, and that'll get you coverage. That'll get you noticed. It'll get you, um, you get, it'll get your article read, and you don't have to pay for it. Uh, like I said, you have, might have to bake a batch of cookies. You might have to take some time to send a thank you note and, and the time involved. But it's free advertising. Um, another little quick tip on press releases. Make sure that they don't sound like an advertisement. You want it to sound like a news article. And if you're not sure how to do that, take the time and uh, read uh, some articles on how to write press releases. Take the time to, to really learn uh, how to craft this and make it work the way you want to do it because you can get really far by getting uh, getting your coverage in, in the newspaper it, it, or the radio station. It really helps out. Another, okay, quick little tip too. Uh, newspaper coverage likes photographs. So if you can take a photograph and send it with it, sometimes they'll run it. Uh, if it's an event that you need to have a professional photographer come, invite the newspaper photographer to come and take pictures. You know, just say, hey, can you send a photographer out? Sometimes they will. If not, I always recommend taking pictures just in case. Also, send your pictures to the radio and the newspaper and the television so that all of them get them because the radio station will often publish it on their website or their blog. Uh, the uh, television station can use a photo in a newscast and... Um, while you're at it, if you're looking at radio, call and give sound bites. You know, if you write some quotes in your article, uh, let's say um, Hatcher Media founder Josh Hatcher says such and such about such and such, and you get that quote and you take the time to, you know, heck, record it on your phone and send it in an email with your press release, uh, it'll get a sound bite on the radio and that'll help you get it out there. There's lots that you can do. I could write a book and I will write a book and an e course someday very soon about publicity, but I hope this just gives you some ideas to be thinking about that. And when you come up with your strategy, because again, we're planning ahead, remember that. Uh, Planning, oh my goodness, I, I had this great quote. We used it earlier and I forgot what it is. <laughs> Failing to plan is planning to fail. There it is. <laughs> planning to fail is, or f failing to plan is planning to fail. So as you're planning uh, what you want uh, your year worth of, of advertising to be, make sure you build into that publicity. Uh, take the time to say, all right, we're going to run this advertisement, this advertisement, and this advertisement at these times. So we want to complement that with a little bit of media coverage and come up with the things that you can do that are newsworthy right close to your advertising so that you kind of work it all in conjunction. Those are my recommendations. I'm Josh Hatcher from Hatcher Media. You can find out a lot more great tips for marketing at my website, HatcherMedia.net. Make sure you check me out on Facebook at Hatcher Media. Also the same place on Twitter at Hatcher Media. I'd love to have you uh, join in the discussion. Tell me your thoughts. If you've got uh, questions or if you need help or maybe you need somebody to write a press release for you, guess what? I can do that and it uh, won't cost you a whole lot. So just get in touch with me. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.